Hey everybody, how are you today? I just wanted to hop on for a couple minutes and give you guys a couple of quick updates on things. I know everybody is scared and trying to figure life out and there's a lot of life to figure out right now and and that's okay. You don't have to figure it all out. It's all okay. Hey Angie, hey Jennifer, Lori, thanks for tuning in. Tracy's tuning in from Fairbury, Illinois. I've been there. Sarah's tuning in. Stuff. You've got stuff. We're all got stuff. So, hey everybody, it is great to have you listening uh, right now. And so what I just really wanted to uh, talk about real quick was a few things that are going on. First of all, um, in many states already, the um, SBA Disaster Loan Assistance is available. And I recommend uh, applying for that um, just to get the application started. It can be a little cumbersome for if you're not a data junkie. Hey, Jennifer. Uh, hey, Heidi. Um, and Sue. Sorry, I didn't mean to exclude you, you Sue. Um, because you do go together, Heidi and Sue. So I do recommend applying for that. Um, you know, you'll need to get a little bit of paperwork together and stuff, but it's worth the time to do, even if you don't end up using it. There's no prepayment penalty, and, um, you know, depending on how things all filter out here in the coming uh, weeks, uh, days, weeks, um, that could come in handy. Um, so do that. The other thing is they have approved, so... Um, but that is on a state-by-state -state basis with the um, SBA disaster loan because the states have to certify it with the SBA first. So if that hasn't happened yet in your state, but you can see that at sba.gov, um, and there's a lot of great resources there. The uh, second thing I want to talk about is for your staff that you're cutting and laying off temporarily. There is going to be unemployment benefits. They can apply right now in your state for unemployment benefits. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, you and Sue are twice as nice together, and I love you. Um, I wish we all had your rent too in the in these times, but that's a that's off topic. But uh, unemployment benefits, they can apply for that. They're giving uh, short term unemployment benefits that um, is not going to end up charging you as employers, and they're rapid tracking the applications so that people don't have to wait normal wait times for that and get those going. Um, so yes, they can collect. They're doing it in currently four week increments. They're allowing it for four weeks and then they're going to uh, optionally renew it for another four weeks, really depending on how conditions. The idea being that you'll be able to return to work uh, within a four week time frame is the hope. Um, that will be getting them back on the payroll. So that is available. Um, lots of states, and it's a state-by-state -state thing, are allowing for SNAP benefits, fuel assistance benefits for your employees, um, and um, what was the other? SNAP, fuel assistance, and rent assistance. I had, uh, in Massachusetts, there's rent assistance for our employees. So all these resources are out there. They're on a state-by-state -state basis. What they're doing for those resources, the unemployment is being subsidized federally, but the um, but those resources are available. Lastly, I've talked to so many of you. I've had so many people reach out uh, to me um, with questions. You know, who do I pay? You know, I only have so much money. What 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 do I pay? You know, and. and it's truly heartwarming. So many of you, your first concern is, is I want to get my employees paid. And, and I just talked about unemployment and everything. And I, and I appreciate that because, you know, even when I, my bank was talking to me today, they're like, you know, you're one of the few employers that's asking, you know, making sure I, you take care of your employees first. And that's what we're here for. We're here for our community. And, uh, but, you know, as you prioritize who to get paid, everybody everybody understands. Your landlords understand. The electric company understands. You know, you have to be here on the other side, and and everybody's cheering you on. I'm cheering you on. We're all going to get to the other side together. But if there's things that you have to make choices on in the short run, you know, th think of you know basic needs. Make sure your belly is fed. Make sure there's a roof over your head. Make sure uh, you know. And, and from that perspective, you know, that you have heat. If you're warm 
um, if you have heat, um, if you're in a climate that needs heat, <laughs> which we are, we had snow today in New England, um, you know, if you have food on your table, if your employees have food, you live to fight another day. You can figure out then how to pay rent. You can then figure out how to pay the electric bill. You can figure out how to pay all the other things. But if you're not clear-minded and able to do that and um, and taking care of your basic needs of yourself, you can't do that. So make sure you're doing that uh, first and foremost. And then just prioritize, you know, the things that are that are most important. Hang on to some cash in the short run um, because we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring right now. And, and I wish I could promise you what tomorrow is going to bring. I'm hoping for a – I'm very optimistic. I'm hoping for a, a uh, quick uh, flattening of the curve and, and return to normal in, in sooner versus later. But I can't promise that to you today. So take that make sure that you have food, make sure your employees are taken care of and you've given them a path to be taken care of if you're laying them off. You know, reduce, if you haven't closed, but, you know, you're working on reduced hours, that's okay too. We're going to 11 to 5. We're still open, but we're taking it on a day-by-day basis. So take your world on a day-by-day basis. Don't try to figure all this out. Know that you're not alone running this store. You can do this. We're all going to do this together. We're going to march our way through this. We're going to do this by taking care of our neighbors. Uh, another thing, you know, especially some areas that have a lot of uh, school, uh, the kids get their only meals at school, uh, breakfast and lunch. So if you can be doing something to help uh, get meals or hand out meals or do things, just, you know, take care of your community. That's what's most important. I'm here to help cheer you all on and uh, cheer us to the other side of this because we will get to the other side it's all going to be okay Um, we've weathered worse and uh, you know there's there's a lot more uh, you know my my religious folks would tell you that that, uh, God wouldn't give us something that he didn't think we were all strong enough to handle and uh, we are strong. We're stronger together. We're strong because of our community. So, um, and uh, we can do this. So, those are my quick updates, my quick answers. Any questions, shout out to me. Um, email me. Uh, Facebook me. Call me. My my phone, uh, I think Verizon's probably going to check with me to see if uh, I... Uh, you know, left the phone off the hook or something because I I have lots and lots of minutes uh, that I've used this month. I'm glad that we have unlimited uh, phone plans these days because uh, uh, my phone has been constant uh, all day and all night, and I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to take your calls. I'm happy to just uh, be an ear, a shoulder, a a cheerleader for you because that's uh, that's what I am. I don't know that I can put on the little cheerleader outfit for you. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure any of you are ready for me in a cheerleader outfit. But if that's what it takes to get things going here, uh, give me an N, give me an A, give me an R. I can't spell here. Give me a T, give me an S. You've got narts, and you're not alone running this store. I'm there with you. <laughs> oh, Nicholas, after a couple of Hendrix, you know, you could handle me in a cheerleader outfit. Okay, um, we're 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 all in this together. We can do it. So uh, that's my update for today. You're not alone running this store. Have a great night, everybody. See you tomorrow.